Hey, Jill. Lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. Ninety-four minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on this ship. might be able to shoot it off. The stench. It's been abandoned for a while. No signs of life. I feel like something's here. Hey! I don't think we're alone. There's blood coming from the ducks. It's not working. No power, which means no elevator for us. it out. The power still works here. here.
I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. So, it's not Chris. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But, in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Join the fray. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. <laughs> I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. 
Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? The, uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're gonna need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Use the Genesis to get a reading on it. The Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. I'm getting something from inside it. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. I've got something. If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. There. That's where Terragrigia was. Has it been a year already? Raccoon City. This must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed with extreme caution. Mm -hmm. 